G'day guys, I'm Biggest Kev, welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to be smelting some, some more of that black sand and uh, the same as what I did in one of my other videos or I've done a couple of videos now on black sand smelting and the procedure that I, that I use. There's many ways to, um, to smelt black sand and to re recover the gold. But this is just the way I do it, yeah, it's pretty basic and it works, um, at the end I'll, I'll show you the gold. Okay, I'll just set you up guys, okay and I'll show you what I'm doing. So I use, um, for my flux I use a borax and I also use this, um, let's say, oh, what's it called? A sodium percarbonate it is yeah so I mix the two a bit of that and a bit of borax and of course the black sand so this is just the way I do it so it's it's you know it's it works for me put it that way so I just put in one spoonful of that one spoonful of black sand A spoon, a big heap spoonful of borax, and actually I only put one of these in per two, two of borax. So I'll, I'll put two spoonfuls of borax to one spoonful of the um, uh, sodium percarbonate. Okay. So as I said, guys, this is just the way I do it. It's um, it's not rocket science the way I do things. I like to keep it just simple, plain and simple. I don't weigh anything. This is just just how I do it. And as I said before, I like to put a lot of borax in when I'm doing this because I like a a liquid consistency. So when I smelt it, I want it to be um, basically a liquid, and I want it to pour out. So I want my my um, my cruci crucible. I want it empty when I tip it all out. I want everything to come out. And if you don't put enough flux in with the black sand, it'll come out all gluggy, and you'll get lumps coming out and all that sort of thing. But you don't want that. You want it to you want it to melt down into a nice liquid consistency so when you pour it it comes out flows out like water basically yeah I'll just dip the rest of this black sand in a bit more borax a couple of those one more of this stuff And when you're doing this, guys, you don't want the material in in the crucible in the, the crucible. You don't want it any more than three quarters full, because this stuff it, it will boil up with all the borax in it. It'll tend to bubble up. Yeah, and see, I just mix it up in the crucible. This is just how I do it. I might put a bit more borax in there. As I said, I want this to melt down into a, a, a liquid consistency. That's, that's about it, guys. That, that, that's it. That's, this is ready to go in the furnace now to be smelted. Yeah. Okay, I'll get back to you once I've got the furnace all set up. We are smelting.
Okay. Now we just wait for the mould to cool down, and then I'll knock out the slag and crush it. Okay, the mould has cooled down, now I'll just knock it out, knock out the slag. That's it, all out. There's our slag, now what I've got to do now, I've got to put this slag in a dolly pot and then crush it up in the dolly pot. It's got to be crushed up really fine in the cone. I can't see any metal but button in there, but I'm not, I'm not expecting a metal button because the gold would have formed into little beads, into little, like little ball bearings. Yeah, so anyway, I'll get my dolly pot and I'll crush this up. And once I've crushed it, we'll, I'll pan it. Okay, I've crushed it down in the, in my dolly pot. That's the fines there, fine material. And I've still got this, this oversize. I'll put it in the dolly pot and crush it down. I'll get back to you guys when I've finished. Okay guys, all crushed down. Let's see. Let's see if I get some gold. I've done this, a, if you've been watching my videos, you would have seen that I've done this a couple of times before. And each time I've got little ball, ball bearings of gold, just small balls of gold. And that's all the fine microscopic gold um, coming together and melting into little little balls. So it should work again. I've done everything the same. So and I know I know this black sand has got gold in it, so I should get some gold. And uh, as I said guys it this is just the way I do it. It's to me it's just a bit of having a bit of fun. Instead of throwing the black sand away, hang on to it, smelt it and recover the, the fine, the super fine gold. It's that fine you can't get it when you pan because it moves with the black sand. Okay, I could get a magnet I suppose and pick up some of it. But when you, when you do that with a magnet, you actually pick up some of the gold with, with the black sand. So. Okay. Come back. Okay, guys. Let's have a look. See if see if Big Kev can show you some gold. I can't show you gold out in the creek. Maybe I can show you some gold from the black sand. I can see gold already. A lot of lot of fine stuff up there that hasn't actually well there is. There, there, there is some ball bearings there, but some of it is still fine. I can see the ball bearings. Of gold. There it is, guys. All the gold up the back here. All little ball bearings. And I can show you that under the microscope. Um, it'll come up a bit better. What I'll do, I'll put some clean water in here, I'll pan it back, and then I'll show you again once I've panned it all back, cleaned it up.
that's all the gold in there guys. I can't really clean it up much more because the gold the gold is rolling back with the sand. Well, that was alright. At least I got some gold to show you this time. I mean it wasn't a lot, but it was a bit of gold that I got to show you guys simply by smelting the black sand and uh, and getting it out. And you couldn't see it that well in the pan that when I put the camera on it, but I've um, just put it in some acid and give it a boil up and cleaned it up and I'll show you under the microscope and you'll see all the little little balls of gold. As the um, fine specks of gold in the black sand, when it's smelted, all the little specks come together and they form those little little balls. Yeah, so um, you'll see that when I put up the pictures. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give away another meteorite, guys. This little beauty here. Same deal. Guess the weight. And if you guess it correctly, it's yours. Uh, this meteorite came from United Kingdom. Colin. Um, Colin, the meteorite guru, sent me, oh, he sent me about eight of them, of these meteorites. So I've just been giving them away to, to you guys. So I've given away, what, two now? So this one will be the third one. I'll just give you a close up so you can have a, have a look at him, have a guess. There he is. Oh no, my battery warning light's flashing again. Okay, so there he is. Guess the weight, guys. I'll take a picture of him. Um, maybe I might put a guitar pick next to it to give you an idea of the weight. Yeah, so... Oop. I'm going to put this up there. Yeah, so um, have a go at it, guys. Have a guess at the weight of this meteorite, and it could be yours. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for subscribing and helping my channel. I appreciate you all. Cheers. It's a lovely day today, about 25 degrees Celsius. Beautiful day. Okay, guys. Take care out there. All the best to Donald. I hope your ears mending well, mate. Okay, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, and good luck.